Hello, welcome to Your Time to Shine. It's the radio show that empowers you to embody your own divine gifts. So tonight I have a special guest with us, uh, my very dear friend, Shauna Fisher. And she is a wonderful animal communicator among so many other things. So Shauna, welcome. Well, oh, thank you. It's good to be back again. This is fun. I love it. It's so good to have you here. So we're going to talk tonight a little bit and then take callers towards the end. And tonight we have a special topic that uh, hopefully many of you have experienced the phenomenon of synchronicity. So what is synchronicity? What is your definition of it? And how often um, have you experienced it in your life? And what does it mean? So we're going to open that up um, and we'll be talking about that. So Shauna, would you like to, I know this was one of your ideas <laughs> felt like you wanted to share with people. Yeah. Would you like to share a little bit about how you would describe synchronicity? I would describe synchronicity about trusting your gut and your inner guidance system and your inner GPS when you're guided to do something. And it's when it flows beautifully, right? It's when it all flows into place. I actually wrote this the other day and I wanted to share it. Let's see if I can get it back. Is I was inspired to write this because I've you know, been doing some synchronistic things and it says, keeping the flow alive. I flow with my life. My life is flowing. I am in the flow. So like to me, that's what synchronicity is all about, is that, right? About being in the flow. Like I, there was um, some training that I wanted to do, right? And so I was drawn to this one person to do training and I couldn't come up with the money. Like it wasn't working. And I was like, so bummed. I was like, I feel like I was drawn to do this and I was meant to do this and it didn't work out. And then there was this other person that's one of my big mentors that had this amazing program that I just am um, now finishing up and it all lined up. I, you know, got in the program, the money came together and it's when those things come together effortlessly that you know that's when you're in the flow and the magic is is flowing and it's taking you to like new leaps and bounds and new wonderful creations in your life, right? That's when you know it's just lighten things up and um, making you come alive. Exactly. It's so when everything seems to fall into place naturally, and mm -hmm. that, that happens more often when we aren't trying to control what's going on. So when mm -hmm. we saying, when we simply allow everything to flow as we're asking it to, and being open to what is coming our way and receiving it. And it, it is, it's so beautiful. Like you were, you're saying that one mentor, you were really thinking that that would be what you'd want to sign up with, but the money wasn't showing up. And then someone else showed up, mm -hmm. the money was there. And it wasn't that it wasn't that long in between. It was like, you know, it was very close together, right? When you know, it was pretty, pretty close. Yeah, yeah. pretty close. Yeah. Uh -huh. that, that money just showed up one week and didn't the week before. So that's, that's a perfect example of uh, synchronicities. Um, and one that stands out for me when uh, I first chose to move from Boston to Portland, Oregon. And when I, I finally committed to it. It took me a long time because I didn't want to leave Boston. But when I finally chose it, you know, I, I told the universe, okay, this is what I'd like to have happen. Within a week, I found a job. Wow. We, we moved here and, you know, we, we found the apartment that we wanted. It was exactly where we were looking for. And then Ray found a job right after that. It was like, boom, boom, boom. One thing I, wow. right after other once we said to the universe hey this is this is what i'd like to have and everything just started to fall into place beautifully without and i'll say it again it happens with so much more ease when we're not trying to control it so mm -hmm. that that 
beauty of synchronicity compared to, you know, trying to control what's happening, what's showing. Exactly. Trying to force things, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The intensity of the force would actually, you know, keep synchronicities from not necessarily showing up the way we'd like them to. Right. And you just made me think of something. It's like, you know, it made me think of Star Wars. May the force be with you, right? And the force is like always inside of us, right? So it's always, you know, we have those things that we're creating. We're really in charge of what we really want to create and have happen in our lives. And I think sometimes we forget that because we need A, B, and C to align with D. But it's like, no, like it's, you know, you can go from A to F and from Z to A. And, you know, you can do whatever works for you, right? That's the beauty of life so yeah it is so also about uh synchronicities what i'd love to share with people you know sometimes people think like you're just saying that they don't always acknowledge that the force is within them mm -hmm. and they're thinking that perhaps the universe is in total control of what's happening well we create our own reality so i i I would love for people to really own that, to claim how much it is that they are involved in creating what shows up or what doesn't show up. So as synchronicities unfold, it's so beautiful to look at, oh, wow, I created that. I asked for that. I have my awareness you know, opens and that's when the synchronicities start to fall into place. It's because mm -hmm. I for it and so now I'm aware of when it's actually showing up. Mm -hmm. so synchronicity, sometimes, you know, one may think it's totally out of their hands and it's the divine completely showing up. Yeah. And oh, it's so, so important to acknowledge that it's you. You mm -hmm. are creating the opportunity for these synchronicities yeah yeah and the serendipitous things and i do have to say one of my i don't know if anybody has ever seen it but one of my all-time favorite movies i can't tell you how many times i've seen it is serendipity have you ever seen that movie it's with um john cusack and kate beckinsale and it just um it's amazing just it talks about you know synchronicities and it goes through them trying to force things and then you know years later it all like aligned and was amazing so it's just i mean i i love that movie for that it's it's just it's amazing it's amazing yeah i did i forgot about that part where yeah. they they were at some point trying to control everything mm -hmm. yeah and then they let go of that and then it's like oh wow voila right it's just it's really cool yeah yeah so, i love yeah, I love that movie. I have another kind of, you know, synchronistic thing. My dog, Luna, she was sick with cancer and she was, you know, older and it was really hard, you know, for me to have to let go from her to her of her. I knew the time was coming close and I was, you know, looking at the Humane Society at dogs because that really helped me. And the week I knew it was time for Luna, to, you know, to make her transition, I met Cool Up. So I met her on a Monday and I was so drawn to her. I, I couldn't explain it. There was just something so special about her. Not the kind of dog I would have ever expected to have in a million years, but I was just drawn to her, right? It was just something about this dog. And so I went home and I just thought about her and thought about her. And I was like, oh my gosh, this dog, you know, and, and she helped me to realize I knew I was making the right decision with Luna, as crazy as it sounds. So I went that Wednesday and she was still there and I did the craziest thing. I put a hold on her. Somebody else had a hold on her and I just was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. You know, I feel the pool and something is something is drawing me and I just have to trust that. And that Friday, coincidentally, had to be the, it was the same day that I had the appointment for Luna later that evening to, you know, make her transition. I got a call from, I could cry thinking about a call from the Humane Society that the other people backed out and that I could adopt her so I went and got her the next day and I know it was my Luna to 
let me know that that hole and she didn't want me to have that hole in my heart from missing my heart dog because she was just my everything she that dog I can't explain and you know she wanted me to you know have cool up in my life which is a totally different energy you know because you've met both of them and it's you know it's really helped to heal my heart it's not the same as Luna but it just it and it just the way it aligned it was just like I couldn't not deny that it was meant to be with the way it was just like okay here we go here i am <laughs> it was really right. cool yeah it was time definitely mm-hmm. that part yeah. of that was luna's doing too wanting mm-hmm. you to be in a place so you'd be able to let her go yeah mm-hmm. yeah absolutely yeah because that was hard yeah i still get tears when i think about that but But there are signs everywhere, and, you know, coincidentally enough, I saw, like, a couple little white flashes today in my room. I was like, gosh, there was a dog that just walked by here, like a whitish yellow energy. So it just goes to show, you know, the energy of our loved ones is always around us that, you know, pass by, and they're always there sending us synchronistic signs as well in life, too, and helping to guide our way always, right? So, yeah. Right. That's part of, yeah, the synchronicities that universe is showing us and asking us to to receive Mm -hmm. so it's all about just being aware of what's around us Mm -hmm. because there's so much magic everywhere and you have a story too about uh, a synchronistic thing that happened to you don't you do you have a synchronistic story to share or something that really opened up for you yeah other than um my boss moving from boston to portland so just recently as a matter of fact um I have a, a space where I see clients and another space where I do Reiki gatherings. And within the, the same exact day, both of those places, so my office mate said she's moving, which means uh, I might be out of an office space. That same afternoon, I was told where I have my Reiki gatherings that they're closing I'm like, oh, all in the same day. So I didn't spin out. I didn't freak out. The next day, I had an interview um, or a a meeting scheduled with someone who's opening up a healing center. And within that space, I'll be able to see clients and give them their healing sessions, as well as a place to have a gathering. So all within 48 hours it just all fell into place. So the universe also nudges us. So if there's time for change, something like what was happening opens up and shows me, okay, it's time to move on or time to look for the change. And within 24 hours, there was this, was something available to me. And so I mean, synchronicities can act, can happen so quickly when you're in that space of, of uh look at what else is possible so rather than the flipping out um or spin out or oh no i'm not gonna have an office anymore where am i gonna see all my clients so i didn't do that that i said what else is possible and the universe showed me something within 24 hours so that was really cool wow that's amazing and you had that faith which really helps because so e- oftentimes and so easily we like go to, okay, what's going to happen? And then we create like all these different scenarios and it's like, well, wait a minute, why are we making it so complicated, right? Why do we have to make things so complicated when, you know, it doesn't have to be as complicated as it, as it is, right? You look at, you know, the, um, how butterflies emerge, right? And look how flowers grow and, you know, and the, and the beauty of like dandelions and the and things like that. Look at how, you know, simple things can be, right? It doesn't have to be so complicated. There's beauty everywhere. And, you know, it's just like looking at that moment and just being like, okay, what can I do? Okay. And I, I think it's really beautiful that you, you know, saw that as an opportunity to even like, okay, what else is possible? I love that. Oh, yeah. So we have a caller, Sean. Yay. So we have I'm ready. <laughs> we have Francis calling from Raleigh, North Carolina. Francis, you are on the air with Darlene and Shauna tonight. Hi, how are you? 
Great. How are you? I'm good. I hope you can hear me okay. Perfectly, yes. So how can awesome. we see you today? Well, I have several things going on in my life. Um, first of all, I know that I have a brother with me that's in spirit. We have never met. And um, I went to the, I, I'm very spiritual. Um, I'm working on developing my senses, which I would like to know how close I am with that. But anyway, um, earlier this year, I went to the Body, Mind, and Spirit Expo, and the energy was just intense. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. And um, the day after, the uh, brother's daughter contacted me, and um, afterwards I put two and two together and realized that the energy I was feeling was my brother. So <laughs> what I would like to know is what messages he has for me. Oh, I, I, you know, and it's interesting, you know, that you, I think it's really beautiful that you realize that connection is there, even though you have never met like in the physical form, because it's just, everything is all energy. So you have that energetic bond and that energetic connection. And, you know, the image that I get from your brother, what he's sending you, sending you is I get an image of you following, falling back and him there. He's always there lifting you up and he's always there to pick you up. And he's always there like cradling and supporting you. And just, you know, he like is your cocoon shell of like. Of, um, like my guardian angel, of, I of, feel. I, I can of, feel yeah, him right now. I, I, yeah. yeah, I feel him. I, I know he wants to get a message across. Yeah, well, and I feel like his message is, you know, that you are always supported and trust those signs that he sends you because I feel like he's sending you little signs. And I see that, like, I could see that he wants you to right you know so just maybe sit down with pen and paper and don't put too much thought into it because sometimes when we put too much thought into it we try to force things and then things don't authentically flow as as easily as they could so just maybe write down some thoughts because i feel like he has like some messages for you and i feel like he wants you to like you know sit in the grass more and i feel like it's interesting because like he's showing me something with like your hips so like i feel like doing like some yoga or Pilates or stretching or something would be good to balance your hips and like open up some breathing and things like that for you. I feel like he wants you to do that. And he wants you to know that like love is all around you and that his support and love for you is always, is always there around you. Like he's always, he's always there. And I feel like he would like like mm -hmm. a, a picture of himself, like, you know, hanging, you know, hanging up that you can re remember that and, and harness those, that, that wisdom and that energy from him. That's the supporting you. Mm -hmm. That's amazing because my left hook just kills me. Um, okay, very interesting. Um, and I really, I know I need to do yoga. And speaking of which, there's a possibility of me, um, well, let's just say that I interviewed to manage a small farm and, you know, work off part of my rent. And I wondered if you could see anything regarding that because the owner, the uh, woman anyway is a yoga instructor do you see any connection with us at all um, i say yes electricity like we were just talking about yeah i say i get a big yes i just got chills all through the back of my neck and down my back so i feel like that's yes synchronistic and yes 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 i feel like a, a sisterly connection i feel yes 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 what about you darlene what do you pick up from that so like <laughs> yes I just think that it's it's so divine that, you know, it went right along with the topic. Um, and, the, yeah, there's something there about horses um, connecting with the earth and um, being on that land is going to support your spiritual growth as well and connecting you to the energies that uh, you have the capacity. Yeah, because she's a shaman. Yeah, and she—I so, don't think she realizes that I know this, and I don't think that she realizes who I am. Does she? 
Does she have any idea who I am or, you know, what the, what I'm into? I'm sorry, I, I, feel like interrupt. I feel like there's a pool, there's a draw to you guys are drawn to each other. So I feel like like on a, a level she does know, but she she knows, but she doesn't know. Does that make sense? It's like, you know, you both know these things about each other. And I, I feel like it's going to be a really beautiful like friendship. I just I just see it yeah. as a really beautiful friendship. And some for some reason, I, I feel like i think of the movie fried green tomatoes and i think about that friendship and fried green tomatoes between that is those... my favorite movie is it? <laughs> <laughs> love it awesome also maybe watch that movie maybe it'll bring you some inspiration maybe you'll watch that together you never know <laughs> Well, and the funny thing is, though, is I have not even met her yet, but I did meet her husband, and I felt like, I really felt like it didn't go well. To be completely honest, I, I felt like it didn't go well at all. I felt like he didn't like me, and, you know, maybe it was all a test. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it was a test. I feel like it could be a test. I feel like he has his guard up more than she does, so I wouldn't take it too personal. Right. It's that yeah. was more. Well, that's kind of what I thought. Yeah, it had that really won't have anything to do with you know your relationship with her. Um, mm -hmm. And this, the presence of the two of you together, the collaboration, whether it's known or unknown, conscious or unconscious, it's going to be a beautiful. A gateway for you and your spiritual gifts to come forth. So what I'm seeing is like a flower blooming within this relationship, uh, whatever mm -hmm. you know comes of it. And don't you know That's exactly trying to keep it with expectations. So just what I'm hearing is just simply go on um, in this with ease and joy. Uh, and just be, let it flow naturally. Let it mm -hmm. open up um, on its own without forcing it. Just let it be. Right. Yep. A natural unfolding of friendship and your gifts. Mm. Yeah. Because the one thing that I am asking to manifest is uh, animal communication, which is so uh, synchronistic. <laughs> Um, that all this is happening tonight because you, I, and I apologize, I don't recall your name, but you're an animal communicator. I would absolutely love to be an animal communicator, and I know that in the past, well, animals um, tend to come towards me anyway, and kind of uh, a situation where... Um, where people say, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that dog just came to you or this cat just came to you because the cat just hates everybody. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in a connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're attracted uh, to me. So, well, you give Francis, your email, uh, your um, your website information, and then we're going to have to say goodbye. The show is almost over. But this was yeah. a oh, no. you and Francis meeting up because... Yeah, I like Francis Shauna is just is this amazing uh, presence with animals. You, you can learn so much from her. So Shauna, give out your web and your oh. info. Oh, thank you so much, Darlene. It's www.natureskeeper.info. And then my email, it's Shauna at naturesceeper.info. So S-H-A-W-N-A -A at naturesceeper.info. And, and such a, so info. much fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. What was your email again? I, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Shauna at natureskeeper.info. Naturesceeper.info. That's mm -hmm. okay. Well, and thank you Shauna so much. is S H A W N A. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. That's right. Thank, thank you. you. I'm so, so glad you were there. So much, Francis, for joining us. Our show is almost over. Shauna, thank you so much. It was such a joy having you here. And if you go to yourintuitivementors.com, 
Uh, Julie and I also offer readings and different information. You can find out about events that we're doing there. And again, it was so awesome to uh, have you here, Shauna. I enjoy your energy. And if you go to our Facebook page, Your Time to Shine, if you have any questions, Uh, please ask us there and we are here every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, West Coast. So thank you everybody for joining us and we look forward to next time with another interesting topic and wonderful readings to share with the world.